Hello guys, it's Sacklands here. Welcome back on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you something that I'm really, really excited about. I got a custom made Japanese stamp. This is called a Hanko and I've been wanting one for a long, long time and I really thought that it was too expensive so I never even like looked at it but I found on Etsy a couple of stores that were selling those and um, I think originally they're made from stone but you can find now made with wood and they're like hand carved Japanese like name stamp and um, because my actual artist name is somewhat Japanese because it's based out of a Japanese name I figured that it would be very interesting and just just great and having like a nice touch on my artworks if I was able to stamp them. And there's like a couple of reasons why I wanted to get one. Uh, number one is that I do a lot of artworks that are inspired by Japanese culture and I really like the fact that I can put my artist name basically in Japanese so that's one reason. B, I just really really like the look of red, like red ink stamp. <laughs> the last reason basically is my artist name Saku Amps is not a brand. It's not trademark, it's not like I don't have any rights basically towards that name alone. It's pretty expensive to like have your own trademark. So whenever I sign my artwork Saku Ems, it doesn't really have any value um, except that I can tell that it is my work because I usually had a certificate of authenticity with my actual first and last name because my company is registered as Emily Jarige, which is my actual name. And um, whenever I do my artwork and I sign my work, I always sign Saku Ems, but I also sometimes sign my last name. <laughs> my cat is meowing in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a bit confusing, but because it's not a trademark, basically it doesn't have any like, specific value when I sign my work. Don't mind the cat meowing, by the way. What I would like to do now is basically sign my artwork my, with my actual name, Emilie Jarige. I mean, I'm Emilie Jarige, so there are, like, there's value added to that, the rights of the artwork. Um, have just more, like it's just more tangible. And then Saku M's would be now not signed, but stamped. Yeah, that is the <laughs> just general idea with the, behind all of that. So I haven't opened it, but uh, I ordered it from Semli Calligraphy. Yeah, don't mind me. Hang on. <laughs> Stay with me. Like this. By the way, I'm recording with my new camera. The one that has 60 FPS. And full HD video. Yo, baby. So I got my Honko from Semli Calligraphy. I will link them below if you'd like to check them out. There's a couple of stores on Etsy with different, um, like, different quality, I guess. They are made with stone or different essence of wood. You can have the ink pad with it or not. Uh, there's of cost, like you can find everything between like 20 to like hundreds, I'm pretty sure. But I didn't want to spend like a whole lot of money on that. <laughs> I paid 40 euros with shipping for a standard like wood. I don't remember the, exactly the essence, but I got like the base one. I think it's Akane wood. So what I got basically was not exactly like the picture because it was like a little like box with the uh, hanko and then the ink pad. What I got is basically just a set with like the ink pads. I will show in a second. I will. I get the ink pad separately. But it's, it's fine with me. There's still like a box, but I haven't looked at it. I um, It took like about a month to get it um, to my place. Mind that um, it had to be custom made, so it, like, it's it's fine with, with me. And like I said, I paid 40 euros with shipping, so it's not a, like, I think it's even less than this. I think it was like 33 or 34 euros. So around $40. <laughs> yes, sure. Um, I've been away all day, so that's why he's meowing. Anyways, I'm just so excited to show you this. I'm really, really excited. So, um, I basically reach out to two stores. I don't know how people do like record videos with cats because it's really distracting. It's, it's very distracting. I would like it to look like very professional and put together and then you just have a cat like randomly meowing in the background. <laughs> Sorry, but I, I want to keep it real on this channel. So it's just what it is. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I'm just really excited to show you that. So I reached out to two stores. I don't remember the first one, but the other one was, like I said, a similar calligraphy because they had like a lot of different designs, um, a lot of different fonts, a lot of colors and all of that. So what I did is I uh, asked them if they could do one of the designs that I really liked, but with a deeper font. Now, because my name is not actually, uh, not a foreigner name, but it's also not a Japanese one because it's Saku M's. So I had to translate this myself. For the Saku, it's really easy because it's Japanese. So this is how it's supposed to be. Um, if you know the name is Sakura, um, this basically is made out of three characters, Sakura. And mine um, has just the Saku. And in the name, in Iragana, I really like this character, which I really wanted to have in my own stamp. Now, usually for foreigner's name, you do have a translation based on katagana, but um, it sent me the actual translation and like the design for the katagana, but I didn't really like it that much. I really wanted to get the iragana, so I had to keep translating and thinking about it um, because basically, saku e me, it's like it's hard to do because the M's, like the S at the end, is not really something you can translate into one character. So I played around with that on like a website to translate my name and I ended up with Saku, I think it's Saku e Musu. Yeah, Saku e Musu, which if you say it quite quickly, it's Saku e Musu. And it's still basically my artist name, Saku e Musu. So this is what he sent me. This is the preview of the hiragana with a deeper font and this says Saku e Musu. And then I ordered the actual set and I got it right here and I haven't looked at it. It's been sitting here for like a week and I've been wanting to look at it but I really wanted to get a review and to get the unboxing on like camera because it's going to be so exciting to see this. So let's just take a look and if you'd like to check it out, if you like this and if you want to get your own hanko, I will recommend the store Semli Calligraphy. Really easy, you can reach out to them, ask them to make a preview and then you can place your order and then they will make it for you. So now let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is what I got. This is how it looks. Let's take a look. I'm really, I'm, really, I'm excited and I'm also really scared because I've never done an unboxing on, on my camera and if it doesn't look good, like if it's a bad product, I will be really pissed. So this is the ink pad. Oh, that's red. <laughs> you can get it without the ink pad, but uh, I mean, why not get it with it, of course. It doesn't feel dry. It feels pretty red. And now let's take a look at the actual Hanko. There's like a box. Oh, it's actually, I lied. They do provide a box with it, but um, it doesn't have the ink pad <laughs> in it. I'm just gonna save the actual hanko for last. Let's take a look at this. I don't know why there's a box. Um, that's, it seems like it's a lot bigger than the hanko. And like, why, th why is there like, how do I open this? It's, oh, it slides. There's like a compartment, like there's just this part that seems to be for inks, but um, it it doesn't make any sense to be for inks. It's still a good, it's a, it's a great box. I'm just gonna, um, I just don't know how to close that. <laughs> oh God, forget about the box. Let's take a look at the Hong Kong. Oh my God, I'm so excited. First of all, it is it is definitely in Iragana, so that's a good thing. And like I said, this is made out of uh, Akane wood. There's different wood essence, but I got the cheap, the cheapest one basically. You can also get like round and square, and I got the square one. So this is, I'm pretty sure that this is the preview of what it's looking like. And this is the actual stamp. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's so pretty. And I can tell that they tried it. It feels like there's a little bit of, I wonder how they do that though. Is it just like maybe la laser cut? I think it might just be laser cut. Oh, now you can see it. That's so cool. And it's all wood. And this is the other side. It's like slightly beveled. I really like it. Also wanted to mention just a brief history about Hanko because um, I know that people who might just ask for that. Um, don't get my facts too like set in stone. If you want to do your own research, I really highly recommend that. But basically Hanko is like a seal in English and in French this is called a, um, 
uh, un sceau, which is like a like an like an, an an identity stamp in a way. But uh, based on my research, Uncle can be representing different things like messages, names, places. Um, there's just different things. But there's also something like that in China under the name Xi. But it's also a Douzheng or Ingam in Korea, and then in Japan it's called an Uncle or an Inkan based on the Wikipedia page that I have seen. I don't exactly know the entire like origins of that, but I will highly recommend you check it out. Um, I just want to stay clear that I'm not trying to like appropriate the cultural like aspect of that from a culture that is not mine. Technically, there are still in France history too. I just didn't make one myself in French. I could have. You use that a lot to like press on uh, wax for envelopes. A lot of French royalty and families have armoiries, which is like a, a design, an, an, an iconic element that they're used to represent their family and they do also usually have like lettering around it and you can stamp that on your official paperwork and certificates and all of that. So technically it's something I think you can find in a lot of different culture but um, I wanted to get one in Japanese because my artist name is a mix with Japanese and French. I have a lot of respect of course for the art of it, the ancestry of it. I know that the art of making the stone like Hanko is called Tenkoku. It's literally just the art of carving wood and carving stone. I'm pretty sure that this one um, because it's not super expensive was laser cut. I don't think this is hand carved but I just wanted to add a bit more information into the, into this video um, and just say that if you want to get it yourself you can of course select from different places you can get it in wood or you can just ask someone to carve it for yourself in stone or you can just make your own and um, there's like a lot of different options there were a lot with like the sakura flowers which I would love to get because literally sakura is cherry blossom and so um, it would be great to have that in my stamp but technically my name is not Sakura it's Saku Ems so um, didn't feel like it was that relevant and um, I also couldn't find any square design with more than just lettering like the characters themselves you can get one that is the opposite of this which means that the actual red would be white and then the actual characters will be printed in red so basically just the inverted version of that I prefer the actual red background not the characters but it's entirely up to you of course there's a lot of meaning behind them and for me it's just a way to really create something that is representing both who I am and also who am I inspired by and Saku Ems is a very special name for me eventually one day I'm hoping I could trademark that but um, it's hard to do because you have to trademark in every country it's a lot of money which I don't have but um, this stamp is just a way at least for me to make it kind of like special because um, I don't think Think anybody will have the exact same hiragana uh, on a stamp than me but yeah I want to try it I want to try that um, I don't know how much I should have but I'm just gonna press it slightly like so and I don't have a lot but I'm just gonna test it right with just this amount oh my god so yeah so I don't I don't really I don't have enough I think he's supposed to to put a lot more because it's pretty like you know um where's the preview yeah this this one they definitely used more ink so I'm gonna try to put a lot more yeah this feels like it's more saturated I'm gonna press pretty hard oh <laughs> what that's so cool oh my god I like it so much! <laughs> oh my god. Like, it's so strange that it makes me want to draw something and then just, just to stamp the artwork. It's just to stamp the artwork. And, speaking of stamping artworks, because I have a lot of originals that have not been sold yet, um, what I'm gonna do is actually take all of my original and then stamp them with this. And I have a special offer for you guys. If you'd like to check it out, I will put a discount on all of my originals for a week. Um, I think I'm gonna do like 15% off. You don't have to use it like an actual code. It's going to be in a sale basically on my store. When I will post this video, the sale will be on. 
and then you can get 15% off all my originals, which is a super great deal. I want to try another one. I wonder if it works with like other inks, my uh, distress inks right here. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna still like use uh, red. I'm gonna try it with the distress ink, see, because it's not the same pad. So I wonder, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm really pressing hard just in case. Ooh, it works. I can do colored. I, I do like the red though because red is pretty. It seems like very logical to me to use the red because it's just a Japanese stamp and usually it's red. But I would like to maybe get like a deep porcelain blue because I really want to work also with blue ink. Oh, it like it, it's really cool with brown too. I have another one here which is the ink distress. This is peeled paint. It's like a, a deep greeny color. It's like I don't think it's very green. It's more of a olive. I think it's working too. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, I should probably just wipe it between colors, but I, I just really wanted to test it out quickly. And so this is how they look. It's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it, 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 it says Saku Emusu. And it's reading from this character right here, Saku E. Musu, I think, from what I remember. But um, I really, really like the deep red. I, I don't know if it's like, it's not deep, deep. Um, I would have to test out on a different paper too. Um, I'm gonna try if I can, I'm just gonna try if I can get it to be really very, very red. I don't know if you can get it really, really deeper. You would have to stamp it maybe twice on the same spot, which I think is pretty hard to do, even if you aligned it. Yeah, I mean, I, I can get it slightly deeper. You can see right in the corner right here it's it's a bit more intense um i could try with different kinds of ink also this one is like i don't know really how it's made but um i can try different inks so uh what i'm going to do now is just quickly clean this up and uh put all of my originals out and then we're gonna just like stamp them you know let's go these are all of my originals that I still have available in the store. So if you are new to my channel, now you can take a look at some of my originals. This one, which I really like, so I'm gonna start with this one. It makes even more sense because this is a Japanese uh, girl. Let's try. I'm a, I'm a little bit scared to just stamp like the actual original, you know? <laughs> it looks great if I put it right here, but I don't like that it's on the actual... Oh, hang on. I don't want to put it on the um, the dress, really. I want to put it on the side. So I think like in the bottom, even though it's a signature, whatever, you know, it can be on the on the top. Maybe if it's drying slightly and then you put a second coat, it can look great. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> don't mess it up. Crap, I messed it up. No! <laughs> How can I fix that? I'm gonna try just to align it. I think it dried. I think I can manage to align it. Uh, I can? Do I? Can I? I don't know. We'll see. I guess. Wish me luck. Let's try. Oh crap. I don't know where it was. I think it's right here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's still like a signature. Oh my god. Why? Eh. Well, it's, it's, it's still, it's still on. You know. It looks like it's on purpose. <laughs> Let's forget about this one. Um, you see, this is what I mean by getting maybe different colors because I really like this artwork, but it's it's strange to sign that in red. So I don't know why. It just doesn't really feel like it should be red. So I'm gonna do a more of a neutral color. I'm gonna use the brown because yeah, I feel like it's just a bit more neutral. And I haven't shared this artwork on here because I've I've did this a long time ago. Uh, should I? Sign I, don't, I haven't signed it actually. That's not my my name isn't on this. It's sad. I should put it right here. Let's do right here. I mean, I, I really want like I would like to get blue eventually because I think I'm using a lot of indigo in my artwork. It would make a lot of sense to have it blue. Um, yeah, I guess it works. I think it's working better on things that don't have a texture because right now it's pretty hard to see and to read it, but I don't want. I'd rather have it not super readable than messing up. But I'm gonna try, oh crap, should I stamp this one? I don't wanna stamp this one, I'm just too scared. This is the Ice Queen. <laughs> and I wanna stamp this one in blue, so I'm not gonna do it. And we're gonna stamp this one in red, because I can do red on this. I hope that the texture is going to be okay. I think I need to clean this up. 
I went ahead and I cleaned the actual stamp. And this one isn't signed. I mean, what's what's up with me? Like, I don't even sign my artwork anymore. God. Um, I have to say though that this ink pad is very flimsy. Like, it doesn't really, it doesn't feel very secure here. So I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it that way. I may just put some tape, but. Let's try again! I'm hoping I'm not going to mess that up this time. And this feels like it's inked enough. Ooh, shiny. And this is a hot press paper, so it's a bit softer than the other one. Right here. God, <laughs> that's... Oh, that's... I'm sorry, I'm not in the actual frame. I'll show that in a second. I don't want to move it before I lift. Can I... Oh, okay, you can see it in the bottom. Oh, crap! <laughs> Why is it not working? I mean, it does, but it's very like, huh? I don't know if I can do much more than this because I've applied a lot of pressure and a lot of ink and I don't know if I can put it like a second coat. I mean, I could still maybe just paint around it, but I don't think I'm gonna get much more than this one, which is fine. Okay, let's see. I have this. Can it be stamped? You see, this is what I meant by sacquems. I'm signing this sacquems, but it doesn't have any value because it's not trademark. So I should sign with my actual name and then just stem that baby up. Um, I don't have like, I wouldn't like to sign that with maybe like a dark indigo, but I don't have it. But I'm still going to try. I swear to you, like I'm applying a lot of ink. I have to try again on like this crap piece to see if I'm making something bad or if it's just because the paper is texturized and so it's hard to, to do. Yeah, it, it does work better on uh, very, basically, paper that doesn't have any texture. So if you're using this on, like, watercolor paper, it's going to be harder. I think this could be okay, though, because this this is not, this is drying paper. I'm um, not drying, mixed media. I'm hoping that this is going to uh, work a lot better because it's a smooth paper. Yeah! <laughs> First one! <laughs> that actually looks like uh, a stamp. I know it looks kind of weird to have a, a like a red stamp like just <laughs> next on the artwork, but this is my brand. This is Sakuemsu, so like, you know, I'm liking it. Let's try this one. Um, This I'm gonna use the brown because it's literally just brown. And this is also a very smooth paper. This is actually like a drawing, like a tan drawing paper. So I think this should be fine. I'm gonna put it right here. I should definitely sign my artwork though. I don't know why I haven't signed them. Yeah, I'm pressing really hard. Let's see. Yeah! <laughs> and I'm gonna do what I said I will do, which is to actually sign that with my actual last name. Or maybe just kind of like my actual name. Yeah, this is how I should sign my artwork. <laughs> you know, the stamp, and my actual name. Yay! I don't know. I know some people might find it weird, but I really like having the signature like this. This is also signed Sakuems right here, but it's done with like gold foiling. So that's odd. <laughs> but I'm still going to add the stamp. I know, I know it's kind of silly though, you know, to just stop all your artwork, but I really want it. Oh crap, it has brown on it. I'm scared because this is hot cold press paper, so it's very textured. Texturized? Or textured so I'm not going I'm not expecting this to look really great but it's still going to be here it's, it's still on the paper it's still on the paper yeah it doesn't really work on watercolor paper I mean it does work but it's pretty hard to braid but it's it's fine this one I think is going to be the best one because there's red in the artwork and it's a smooth paper so I'm really hoping that this is going to work really well I don't want to put it on the side. Let's just put this in the bottom. I was hoping that I didn't touch like the actual artwork. Yeah! <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, basically, it works on a uh, smooth paper. Like so. It looks really cool when it's stamped nicely like so. Yay! <laughs> really, really like this. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, this was my reveal of my custom Honko. I'm gonna show you again how it looks. And it does work a lot better on smooth papers. So I think if I was using them on my shikishi boards, those like rice paper uh, little boards that are from Japan 
to you. This is very smooth and um, if I'm making artworks, I can easily just stamp uh, with this. Maybe I'll save the stamp for certain artworks and not all of them. If it doesn't work on watercolor paper, it's a little, I'm a bit sad by that, but um, I don't have any. The smoothest I can have is hot press. I wasn't expecting it to be very smooth, uh, but I was still hoping it would look a bit better. I still really like it, of course. I'm really pleased with the design. I really like the ink pad. It's a little bit flimsy, but I like it. Like the color. I'm gonna try to find like a blue ink or something. So yeah, that was it. Does it, does it fit? Oh, actually it does. It does, and you can slide back the uh, lid. But I'm gonna clean the stamp before. Uh, that will be it for this video. I hope that you liked it and that you enjoyed watching that. So as I said, um, all the originals right now are 15% off on my store. So if you'd like to check that out, uh, it will be great. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and let me know what you thought about it um, because this is going to help my channel a lot. And if you want to get yourself a actual Hanko, then I really highly recommend you check out Semily Calligraphy on Etsy. That will be it. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!